The sound brings me Our back home is finally built. to this moment. It's as if I wrote this, but without tragedy, only really true. Who am I living with or against the earth? Who are these people we've become? They weren't people I spent I'm calling you on the telephone like you asked me to. Do you remember telephone calls? I'm glad you asked. This is Active Listening, a new dramatist's podcast series that invites the resident playwrights to experiment with story, intimacy, and immediacy through sound experiences. This initiative was born of the questions that became urgent as our pandemic lockdowns began. What are creative alternatives to gathering together in rooms? What might a play for the ear sound like? Each episode is written, recorded, and produced by a different resident playwright. This one features work by J. Julian Christopher, exploring memory as it is attached to our senses. The piece began as a first wedding anniversary gift to J. Julian Christopher's husband. He relaxed into a memory exercise about their first date, and what you will hear is what came out without any edits. This is Mind and Ass by J. Julian Christopher. third car from the end, my hand shaking in anticipation. First meetings are always so touch and go that your mind can create all sorts of catastrophic scenarios. Bam! All the possibilities of floods and locusts and damn. There he is. I am floored by the glimpse of sweat glistening off his forehead. His unlocked photos are You look better than your unlocked photos, I whisper to myself. The doors open. Your eyes meander back and forth looking for me. Here I am. Pants tenting the moment we lock eyes. Together the style of us as future comes into soft focus and we sway back and forth as the E takes us to wonder and imagination. You stare. I pretend to stumble as to casually touch your belly. I tingle. You blush. It's like every dumb movie that has ever been greenlit from Hollywood. Your skin is wet. Is it July or nerves? It rolls down your silver temples as you stutter. Oh, you stutter out some cliche and I find it endearing because there is no need to belly poetic. You are what you are. I've never met a man with that certainty. Smile, laugh, flirt, rinse, repeat. It's a game to survive the fluorescence and the woman quoting the Bible. Throw out everything you expected, Jules, because this is the very beginning of your life. My floral shirt looks like... Well, you say that I have my shirt inside out. My leg shakes, but then realize it's just part of the design. Monet designed my shirt, I jest. A hint for my insecurities to come, but surprisingly they don't. I'm pacing them out for future, because strangely enough, I know there will be one. Oh, fuck. Is this what love is? Have I been doing it wrong my whole life? Oh. I just wasn't before. That's the tea. Subway slides into 5th Avenue, 53rd. His brown shoes lead with my eyes on his ass. We kiss under the creation of one of the greatest works of art. That is when I know there is more to life than just deceit. Flat tire relationships that thud, thud, thud their way to what lovingly you refer to as spreading of syntax errors. 
My taste is you now, and the joy it brings is forever new and what honest men call sanctuary. It is for the following timidly obsessive reasons that red lipstick now feels nude. I am of wilder things. Ah, uh, to exist next to you. It restores the juices replaced by wine in my unwell days. This fire you have ignited, black smoke and all, masks all smells Jersey has to offer as I burn. Whew. Were you aware that endless dialogue moves into substantial change? It is a new concept for lovers as the new day's statue takedowns offer new perspectives. The ear allows us the place of levity that can only be obtained by white tears that trace the sides of cheeks as your mind has aligned with mine. Jeffrey is a man much like water open to new possibilities and insurmountable odds beckoning the current to shift direction. I replay this idea over and over again, hatefully within my brain. Is love supposed to just stop one's former existence and securities? Secondly, am I a shit person to hold such standards? That's my knee-jerk reaction. It's been purgatory in the past. Why not just bleed limbo now like routine? Fuck. It's that sort of teach-me-how attitude that Oh, I mustn't go back for the repetition blocks the face of the new person that you have created. Gold and blue sky clouds swirl, framed with photography flashes. I taste the lips. Please let me just state for the record that I'm hard under my shorts. Order has been destroyed. Oh, do I let purple veins ruin a good thing? Libido rules and pens my fate. I probably will fuck him later. The hallways are white, almost blindingly so, but it's fine. You smile and there is color galore. I lead in many ways, feel the right elements aligning. It's as if I wrote this, but without tragedy, only truth. This is new territory, a landscape never explored. I paste an emoji as breath since I am unable to catch mine. Friend replies, enjoy. I had to tell someone quick, I just had to. Damn, you lean in closer than strut your strut to the next artist and my eyes dance with the shifting of your city hips that have walked these streets like you own them. I understand that I am elitist at times, but the gray hairs on your temples? Art, like these paintings. Clenched jaw, I'm tense. Can I be me? The last decade I pretended to be worthy, hesitantly allowing my inner juices to be on display, but something about that Ozone Park accent peacefully lets me know I have arrived in all of my glory. Extending a hand to me, you leap me across time, and I know nothing of decades past. It is the awakening I... Please don't get me wrong, I'm weary. Holding on to the monsters that obliterated my manhood into thousands of red granular pieces. Not even Humpty had a more sinful fall. I know all about self-help. I read book after book. They don't tell you about future Jeffreys. They very carefully leave those parts out. Perhaps to pulse you into the reality that you got lucky. I found that needle in a shit stack like black mold to untreated bathroom sheetrock. Fuck you for the hope. Now I feel everything when cold rocks became my bedtime pillow. Sense and grace just folded right up inside me. Oh, the potential of your mind and ass had the pre -cum leaking, and your form and eyes cut through granite. Now I'm rubble. You our trouble. We walk and hold hands without a care in the universe. This is what storybooks make you believe. Brace yourself. The shoe could drop any moment. The thought enters. You closely watch. I doubt for a millisecond, but it's fleeting. Your mind and ass fix my insanity. Money couldn't buy this joy. Wow. 
This is joy. My phone buzzes with a notification from some soulless sex app like an Amber Alert, but I don't look. Nervously, I turn the ringer off, tending to matters at hand. You. You are the only thing that matters, and I am ridiculous because gazing in your eyes is like a queer manifesto of having arrived. We walk into a bar, slide past old faggots and piano queens belting out their forgotten youth. Rust and tarnished piano keys ring out. Margaritas flow and we slip deeper and deeper into intoxication. Firmly holding on to one another as if we might float away. We don't. We thrive. And both our mothers smile while watching from some oh-so-heavenly cloud. Some magic they've cooked up, you smirk. I basically just shit myself because at that moment our thoughts have aligned. I take it as a sign to rip my nasty and frigidly ice-cold heart out of my monster chest, craving your attention as I attach it to my sleeve. My hand on your leg. You touch my meaty inner thigh, and so nakedly I wish to be beside you, inside you. You look at, I look at my (laughs) God. I could fall in love with you. You cry. I cry. My shirt, it heaves up and down, barely containing my chest, which barely contains my raw pink heart. It dances. My shorts dance, and we kiss again and again. Perfect fits each of our lips. The magic pierces my soul. And as for the past? It melts away as Jeffrey becomes instantly the love of every single one of my lifetimes. The dance floor becomes our foreplay. Grope, grind, give, glide, grasp, gulp, grin, twirling like twisters across the Midwest, we middle-aged sprites are twenty again. You unbutton my inside-out shirt to try to make it right. You kiss my shoulder. I turn and press my pelvis against perfection. The bops are booming and our sweat intertwines. When did the likes of us ever have happy endings? This is some anti-Disney shit and I am here for it. We round out the night with appetizers and libations at an expensive subpar diner and bask in the afterglow of gay nightlife. We stare. No words. Until the check comes. Then we venture down into the underground speedway before one of us turns into the proverbial pumpkin. We step back onto the E... It's been a 13-hour rendezvous into summer queer bliss. My underwear moist from the moment we lost our minds upon seeing one another. Union Turnpike is next, and I await an invitation, but we both know that if I were to test the springs of your slumber chamber, we could potentially fuck this up. We don't want to fuck this up. I read it in your iris. You know it in my exhale. We kiss as we pull up to your platform. You wave. I wink, and we play the parts of respectable fags. This is a Jamaica Center Bound E Express train. The next stop is Jamaica Van Wick. Until the next time, my love. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. I've captured your mind. Next time, I'll have your ass.
You just heard Mind and Ass. It was written, performed, and sound designed by J. Julian Christopher. Active Listening is a project of New Dramatists and is produced by Corinne Keithley Sires and Melissa Tien. More information on the series and a sonic visualization of each episode can be found by going to newdramatists.org slash active listening. New Dramatists is one of the country's leading playwright centers and a nationally recognized new play laboratory. Its mission is to provide playwrights with time, space, and resources in the company of gifted peers to create work, realize their artistic potential, and make lasting contributions to the theater. Active listening is made possible with generous support from the Venturist Theater Fund of the Tides Foundation.